What you're seeing is impossible. Lasers travel at the speed of light, and the only way that a blaster bolt or a disruptor shot or a phaser beam can take this long to cross a room is in science fiction, so the audience can understand what's going on. But this is real. Over there, and I can't look at it unless I'm uh, wearing these incredibly stylish laser safety goggles, but over there is a class 4 laser generator, the sort of thing that will burn your retinas out if you treat it the wrong way. But lasers can't do this. They certainly can't start moving back and forth like it's a tennis match, and they absolutely can't behave like they do in Star Wars when Kylo Ren uses the Force and stops one in midair. But this is not being added by computer afterwards. This is happening in camera. I can interact with this and show you. So how's it being done? To explain that, we need to talk to the person who programmed that laser. Here's the trick, and it's something you've probably seen on Science YouTube before, rolling shutter. See, modern cameras don't take a single frame all at the same time, poof, like an old school photograph. They scan. It takes just a fraction of a second for it to go from the top all the way to the bottom of the camera, and it registers each line one at a time. So what we've done is we've turned the camera 90 degrees on its side. So now that rolling shutter effect is going horizontally. And this laser is being turned on and off incredibly quickly and incredibly precisely. So that as the camera scans by for every frame, the laser is on when it needs to be and off when it needs to be. That takes a lot of maths and a lot of precision, but the result is this.